What's up guys? It's March 26th, 2021. It's Friday. I just got home from work. Uh, Andy and I have decided to go to the Ozarks this weekend to do a little bit of camping, a little bit of exploring. Um, we decided, um, or actually the girls decided that they wouldn't uh, join us for this trip. So the Renegades, unfortunately, will not be joining us on this adventure. Uh, however, we are going to be unveiling a new member to the fleet uh, for Renegade Expedition. So stay tuned for that. I'm super stoked, guys. It's been a long time coming. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm going to briefly walk you guys through what I normally pack for a solo trip uh, or a trip where it's just me. Uh, and also my bag of bones here, my five-year-old German Shepherd Willow will be joining me for this trip. Um, we don't get to take her on many trips anymore because, you know, having a toddler in the back seat with the car, you know, with the car seat and having a mid-sized truck, things tend to get a little cramped back there. Um, so I'm going to take full advantage of the fact that Ellie and, and Christy won't be joining us on this trip. Uh, however, um, I'm super pumped guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, we're super excited. We're getting ready to leave here in a few hours. Uh, but anyway, let's get packed. As you guys can see, this thing is pretty deep um, and it's pretty long too. So it's perfect, especially when it comes to putting my, my dry rack for the dishes along with this bottle. My front runner utensil kit, which if you don't have one of these, buy one. I'm not getting sponsored or we're not sponsored by front runner or anything like that, but they're pretty good for what they are. All right, now it's a very tight fit. I purposely put a lot of the stuff on this side. Um, we have a lot of weight on the driver's side as it is, so it's always a game of balance. You always want to balance things out. Introducing Karthik Artemis, a 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, our newest addition to the Renegade Expedition fleet. I'm getting ready to go over my list, make sure I pack up everything that I'm going to need. It's always super important to make sure you have a list before you head out. Um, for me, I just use I just use my dry erase board with everything so I could just check it off as I load it into my vehicle. Um, we're not going to be taking the Renegades for this trip. I'm actually going to take my Gladiator this time. Just going through my list, checking off the things, make sure I got everything I need for the trip which is just water, food, the necessities for this trip, somewhere comfy to sit, things like that. Once everything's strapped, definitely not going anywhere. You're all good to go. All right guys, so Andy's now here. We're packed up, we're super excited you guys, and we have a five hour drive ahead of us, so let's get going. It's important to top off at the last known fuel stop, especially before getting to your destination. So why did I get a German beer and you got a Mexican beer? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, a Mexican beer is, I don't know, it tastes good, man. I think the German beer tastes a little better. Actually, I'm not a fan of German beer. <laughs> it's Heineken. Everybody's a fan of that German beer. They just didn't have my beer in cans. And actually, we kind of we kind of like have to blur that out. But um, it's 4 a.m. We rolled up in a camp, couldn't sleep. Um, we're just so excited to be here, you guys. I guess it's just a rush of it. Um, our bodies and eyes and all that is just exhausted, but we aren't that tired. Um, but yeah, we're out here just cooking. We got hungry, <laughs> had a little, uh, a few beverages, and uh, yeah, 
decided to get some uh, some food in our, our stomachs before we call in for the night. I'm probably going to wake up late. What do you think? Probably. Probably going to sleep in. <laughs> We're up later than we went down to uh, Oxford that time in Athena. That's right, man. So... And we slept in, like till what? Till noon? No. We got up at 10. 10? Because well, we'll it's still morning. Yeah, we'll see. But, but yeah. We got a lot of trails to hit tomorrow. We do. up getting into the Ozarks last night about 1 a.m. Took us uh, about an hour to find a good camping spot or probably closer to two hours. I know uh, when we finally got parked and popped the tents up it was about 3 a.m. Today we're gonna be going around and just exploring a little bit really testing out the uh, gladiators capabilities. We know it's pretty capable um, off-roading, we've taken it to off-road parks, but we want to see it actually in, in a setting like this, what we're mainly going to be using it for, and then really go from there. After we get done hitting the trails today, we're going to be looking for another camping spot. Um, start probably looking around 5 p.m., 4 or 5 p.m. Hey, Alan, do you have any, uh, any ideas where we're going to be going today? Yeah, well, we're going to have to do a little bit of exploring. You can see how the trucks do with all the weight. Um, be a fun little challenge and see if we can get ourselves into the right amount of trouble <laughs> gotcha. without it being too overbearing. So, it's we'll definitely going to be interesting. Do. Yeah, we'll see how we do the traction. So I'm kind, of, I'm kind of curious to see how you do with your RT tires versus my your AT ATs. tires. Yeah, but uh, we'll figure it out. Ready All to right. go? Three well, I'm not I'm not too happy about it, dude. Um try to figure it out. Can you welcome spotting real quick? Just put your knee brake on and over here, make sure I'm gonna be okay.
right up this. If you go a little bit more faster, the car will be in down flip on this side. That's right, we're here to play. Finally got to the Ozarks. It's been an amazing, an amazing time. How do you feel for all that? That was actually a fun trail. It was, it was it? very challenging. I wish that we could have shown you guys all of it, but... That tested us. Uh, yeah, it did. That tested us. It tested the width of our vehicles, that's for sure. And the weights and all that. So guys, that, that was a very tight and technical trail. Um, about yeah, it was it was crazy, man. I mean, um, the fact that we have rooftop tents like this, we have we're so top heavy that when we get off camper, it's super sketchy. It I mean, is. It was leaning pretty hard. It was. Sure. It was. Well, we freaking did it, man. How cold is it, Alan? That's a twist. Wow. Now, when doing water crossings, guys, you, you don't always have to do this, but get out, get your feet wet. See how deep it is. It's pretty deep. I'm gonna get my pants wet. After a long fun day of hitting the trails, we were lucky enough to find a camp spot right along the river. So we decided to go ahead and set up camp and spend the rest of the day relaxing. Good morning. We're on our third day out here in the Ozarks. And waking up to a view of the river like that is just simply amazing. It has been a crazy, crazy trip so far. We had those difficult obstacles yesterday, which really pushed the bison and the gladiator. And then finding this spot and then waking up to that was 
It was just amazing. It was an amazing view. Sorry if I keep covering my face. It's just, just waking up. But, alright, we're going to get up and cook some breakfast and get the day started. up guys this is uh day two of um, our little trip to the ozarks and uh getting ready to cook breakfast and then pack up and head out but um real quick guys we just kind of wanted to first of all i wanted to introduce this thing real quick once again and uh, have andy here give you guys a small little walk around of artemis Good morning, buddy. Good morning. So why don't, you, uh, why don't you go ahead and give us a little walk around of uh, this beast of a truck, man. Yeah. So this is Project Artemis. We haven't given it a designation yet. Um, probably thought it's a little bit closer to we finished the build. Um, but it's a 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Um, it's very, very early in the build. But we have, uh, so far we've done a two inch AEV lift. Uh, some ultra wheels, 17 inch wheels with 37 inch tires. Uh, I went with the Feral Explorer RTs, uh, 37 by 12 and a half. Um, and they've been actually pretty, pretty, pretty good so far. Um, I haven't done a whole lot. On the bed, we've done the Lightner Rack, um, Max Tracks, Roto Packs, and the Gear Pod. On top of the lightning rack, we had the Alu Cab Generation 3 pop up tent. Like I said, it's still pretty early. Uh, for comms, I'm running the uh, Midland MTX or MXT. MXT. M M MXTX. MTX. Yeah, MTX. <laughs> uh, radio, which is just mounted to my dash. We have uh, some ditch light brackets with the Baja Designs Squadron ditch light in yellow. I like that you got them white, man. That's so cool. Yeah. Color matched it to the vehicle. Yeah, I have uh, Artica to thank for that. Um, we liked how they looked on Artica, so then we went with that. I would show you on the truck, but it's just pretty standard in there. I just have a uh, bulletproof mount for my phone and for GoPro, things like that, nothing special. In the bed, I'm borrowing Artica's, uh, since we don't have her with us on this trip, I'm borrowing her road shower. Since she usually carries our water, she's not here, so I had to throw it in the back. Um, for storage, I'm just using the uh, a 230 case. And then uh, since we don't have Athena, I'm holding the fridge for us this time. So, just, we gotta make a little small adjustments when we don't bring all the vehicles out, but she's holding strong. We did some very, very challenging trails yesterday, and uh, she held up strong. Um, I have no complaints. This has been a really good run to see what she can do. I can't wait to update y'all with a more in-depth walk around video as she gets uh, more built. Thanks, man. So. Um we're getting ready to, like I said, guys, to cook breakfast real quick. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get packed out and start heading home. This has been an awesome experience. Would you agree? Oh, it has. Yeah, it's an awesome experience. It's so, it's absolutely beautiful. If you ever get the opportunity to come out here, do it. However, this is one of those uh, places that you wanna do a lot of research in because if you don't, you will find yourself having to struggle to find campsites and all that stuff so do your research before you come out here um, get some quality information in uh, some recent information in so that way you know what to expect when you come out here uh, and yeah just this place is awesome I have no complaints and i definitely see us coming back here time and time again um, the fact that it's just a five and a half hour drive from dfw is Pretty epic, guys. So, anyway.
we'll um, gonna go ahead and get some chow in and head home. Andy, uh, what the hell just happened? What happened? The drone went in the water. <laughs> Who warned you not to do that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not a good friend. I'm over here laughing at my friend's uh, mistake. He, uh, he has a Mavic Air, and he, he's been wanting to fly it, and uh, I told him to be careful with all these trees, there's a lot of trees up here. I think he uh, touched one of the branches of the trees, and the drone went in the water, so now he's having to go. <laughs> that was a fun trip. When getting ready to leave, always make sure to clean up after yourself, and try to pick up additional trash others may have left behind. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our future videos.